Hi, this is Becky with Aqua Mantra, and we're at the Natural Products Expo. We're launching the first ever 100% completely biodegradable and recyclable PET plastic bottle. And I'm here with the Enso Bottles founder, Teresa. Tell us a little bit about this bottle and how phenomenal it is. Um, Enso Bottles is really the first of its kind. Um, with the Enso bottle, we're introducing um, several things that are unknown on the market right now. We have the PET bottle here that is fully biodegradable, meaning that it will biodegrade in anaerobic and aerobic environments, so in a landfill or a compost environment. It's also fully recyclable, so you can throw it in with your standard PET and it can be recycled along with that. Um, I don't really understand what an anaerobic or an aerobic um what, what those were meaning. What, what is that? Oh, great question. So um, aerobic would be like a compost environment, somewhere where there's oxygen. So um, it could be a composting. It could be if it happens to get dropped off, if, and we don't promote this, but if it happens to um, fall accidentally out of someone's backpack while they're out hiking, anywhere that's a natural environment with oxygen is going to have um, the microbial activity needed to break down the bottles. Um, anaerobic is what happens in landfills. Um, everybody knows that landfills don't break down things very well. And that's because there's no oxygen in there. And our bottles will break down without oxygen. How long does it take for these bottles to, um, now will they completely disappear? They're gone? Yeah, so in one to five years, the bottles will break down to carbon dioxide, um, methane if it's in a landfill environment, and inert humus, which is basically soil but there is no plastic residue left over. So it's a PET plastic, and I'm just kind of curious about the process. I mean, how do you get a PET plastic to become biodegradable and um, recyclable? Well, biodegradable. <laughs> um, we take the PET and we add in organic compounds. FDA approved food safe compounds? Yes, yes they're all FDA approved. Ooh! <laughs> um, so we add in the organic compounds. The organic compounds contain a swelling agent and a microbial attractant. Um, it's not activated until it hits a microbial environment. And once it hits that, microbial environment would be, again, a natural environment. Um, once it hits that environment, it's going to swell apart the polymer chain and allow the microbes to get in there and digest it. So why isn't that able to happen with traditional plastic? Uh, with traditional plastic, um, when it's processed, the polymer chain is too tight. It's a real tight polymer chain, and microbes can't get into it to digest it. They also no longer recognize it as a food source because it's so processed. When they take the petroleum to make plastic, they pull out all of the organic compounds and so now it's no longer recognized as a natural source and so microbes don't even want to eat it.